I continue on the topic of illusory nature of the reality. A few clues come from quantum mechanics. Quantum means the smallest possible particle. Initially the smallest possible particle was an atom, but after the, after the scientists um, discovered that the atom is made of particles, then they went into electrons, neutrons, protons, and then they defined the word quantum, something which is, uh, is not, it cannot be divided any further. So the quantum of light is a photon, a quantum of, a quantum of sound is a phonon, and the quantum mechanics is the science about strange things that happen between the, those quant, quants, smallest particles. They don't behave like big particles. They don't behave like anything here, like mechanical things here. So macro world and small world, quantum world, are governed by different laws. But now, looking at metaphysics, we just discovered that even in our uh, macro reality, macro scale reality, there are deviations, miracles, which are pretty well illustrated by the laws of quantum mechanics. So there are a few principles which illustrate the strange nature of the quantum mechanics. The first is the uncertainty principle, and it involves consciousness. As I mentioned. So, this principle is that the things are uncertain until a conscious being is looking at them. A conscious being is observing them. So, the observer is necessary for, for, for the things to get settled. Here is an example from a game called Minecraft. In Minecraft, the world is seemingly unlimited, unlimited, limitless, unlimited. But it is not created until a conscious player is getting there. So as you walk on Earth, you can see how the Earth is created in front of you. So it's not created until you get there. It's empty, there is nothing there. And as you walk or fly, you can see how the world is created in front of you. And it is a pretty much the principle of uncertainty principle of uh, quantum mechanics. Things uncertain, not created, not fixed until you look at them. And when many people look at the same things, they look at them, they see different things. And that is, um, an example of that is the Mandela effect. We are here coming together with different stories and we remember the past differently. We can't play here together in one game, in one movie, in, in one theater, but we come, each one of us comes with a different story. We remember the past differently. So Mandela effect is not from quantum mechanics, but it pretty well fits into the, into the set of spooky principles. Another quantum, quantum mechanics principle is, uh, is quantum entanglement. When two elementary particles, say photons or electrons, come together, they entangle, they, they unite. And after they separate, they keep the memory of each other and they synchronize to each other in some way. 
But that synchronization is only re revealed when a consciousness is looking at them. So until they are looked at, they are again uncertain. They are in uncertain state. And usually we are talking about a spin, which is another spooky, strange property which cannot be defined. Spin is something like direction of spinning, but it's not. Um, so the two entangled photons can be very far from each other. And when an observer looks at one of these photons, registers it using, say, a camera, and which can determine the direction of the spin, the, the sign of the spin of this photon, the spin of the, of the other photon which was entangled then is fixed. So until the consciousness, consciousness looks at one, the other one is uncertain, but when the, the first one is absorbed and the second one uh, gets fixed into a certain state. And this uh, communication between two photons is, can happen at large distances and it is instantaneous. It's not limited by the principle, by the, by the speed of light. So it's faster, that's instantaneous. So how it is related to our life? Basically, if you are in love with, it, with someone, you entangle with them energetically, mysteriously, supernaturally. And then, um, whatever, whatever happens to one person is reflected on another. There is a, that connection. So it's not necessarily love, it's any interactions, especially with the relatives. So relatives, twins are entangled, connected. Parents and children are entangled and connected synchronized, feel each other. Especially this entanglement happens when people eat together, drink together, smoke together, because this entanglement is, the, is strongest when uh, the when people are transformed. So when you're transformed through the same means, through the same chemical means, when you do things together, when you are transformed through common action, then entanglement is the strongest. Strands of DNA are entangled, not mechanically, but energetically. They share common electrons, they entangle, and then when they, when a cell divides and produces daughter cells, the cells remain entangled. So twins, brothers, siblings, mother and children, father and children, they're all entangled through that common set of electrons which were part of the same cell at once, at once, once. Then there is a principle of duality of being a wave and a particle at the same time. So with the photon, it is uh, the light is a wave and light is fo photons, particles. And they are uncertain until they, get, they are absorbed, until they get caught into some inaction. And then they uh, register either as a wave or as a particle. But until they are interacting with some consciousness, they are uncertain. They, they are both particles and waves and this principle is similar in our lives sometimes you are a wave you're full of emotions you are uncertain you are fluid you are a vibration but then when you interact with others you have to make decisions yes no you have to choose who you are, you have to choose names, you have to speak words, symbols. So you're becoming tied into symbols, into promises, into conventions, and you become rigid, solid. And then again you melt, especially you melt under pressure or under love, you melt. And you become a fluid again, a wave again.
the principle of resonance is not a quantum principle it's a principle of all principle of any wave interactions electromagnetic and sound wave interactions and the resonance is when two structures support the same vibration they amplify that vibration together and they synchronize connect and become entangled become unified so as you listen to me we become unified as you listen as you reflect as you connect energetically emotionally to others you resonate and become unified with others and other way around if you have a different set of principles if you have a different design different genetics different culture then you fail to resonate and you separate you become independent so if you want to become independent you have to change yourself change your principles change your environment change yourself and as you change yourself you separate from others because you cannot resonate with them anymore so independence can be achieved just by changing yourself into a new self with the new principles new ideas new vibration every day a new vibration every day a new idea every day a new goal And another principle of quantum mechanics is tunneling, tunneling effect. Like electrons can go through the wires with a certain speed, pretty slow, like maybe airplane speed, not faster. But then they can tunnel from here to elsewhere instantaneously. They disappear here, appear somewhere else. In uh, conscious life, in our macro life, it would correspond to intuition. astral travel by location teleportation transmutation shape-shifting but mostly it relates to channeling yes in channeling you the information tunnels from far away from Pleiades from Andromeda from far away in tunnels right into you so information the symbols can tunnel through the space they basically go beyond space they use wormholes yeah, they use subspace other than this reality just to tunnel from one place to another th through a shortcut so tunneling effect is uh, taking a shortcut from one place to reality to another place from from one timeline to another from one time to another With that, I conclude. I wish you happy tunneling, happy entanglement, happy uncertainty, happy resonance. Have a good day. Um, I am not, I am not, I am not, I am not,